This is my very first Let's Play, and just so you all know, for the most part, uh, this is going to be a blind playthrough. I kind of played through the beginning part a little bit, the first dungeon, um, but I don't have it memorized or anything, so I might be getting lost and what have you. I kind of prefer the Let's Plays that don't talk every single you know, second, uh, trying to be witty. So if I don't have anything to say, I'm just not going to say it. This is, for the most part, for you guys to see what this game is like, because I think it's awesome. Um, I'm using a joypad, as you can see. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do this. Well, whatever. This is a joypad configuration. Whee! My bad. But yeah, so this game is, um, it got an honorable mention during, um, the, some festival, some independent game festival or something. It was created by two college guys, uh, Sean Hogan and Jonathan Kitaka, I think. And they did this, they started this last year, you know, they, they, they did this in less than a year, uh, whilst going to school. These are college guys who were trying to get degrees. Um, so I just think this is fascinating, you know, that they were able to come up with this. Uh, the writer was Jonathan Kitaka, uh, Sean Hogan did the audio and the programming. Um, I do have a game, but I'm going to just do the, go through the beginning a third time for your benefit. Yes. Yeah. You know. Mysterious voice. Hello? Young? Hey! Oh. You can hear me? Good. Now listen. You are about to wake up. You will use the arrow keys to move around. Yeah, so this is Young, our mysterious hero of which we don't really know too much about. Uh, like another 16-bit hero? Whoa. Yeah, this game is really remin reminiscent of Legend of Zelda. And this is part of the reason why I love it so much. It reminds me a lot of uh, A Link to the Past, which is probably my favorite Legend of Zelda game ever. Um, it's just, it it has a lot of fond memories for me. And the sprites in this game are just great. And the environment is pretty detailed, even for a 16-bit game. This is just telling me how to play. Um, telling me about the controls. This is the menu screen. Um, for your benefit, the card screen, save, and figure. Right, so I mean, as you can see, the premise is pretty simple. Uh, this just tells you that if you talk to people multiple times, so uh, that you see something different. This, the premise is pretty simple, it really just launches you into it. Uh, here's our first cutscene. Cloaked man. Well, it's about time. Or... Er, I mean, greetings, young! I am Sage, the village elder. You have been summoned here because the darkness has spread across the land. The darkness seeks the legendary briar to use the briar's power for evil. You must reach it first. You must protect the briar. And I like the nondescript names like the, the darkness or the land. It's uh, pretty com It's pretty, uh, Descriptive. Like, anyway. Enter the active portal on your left to begin your quest. Ugh. It doesn't bode well that you're still dallying about here. Enter the portal to begin your quest. The Briar, and by extension, the world are in dire need. Just go in the damn door. Yeah, Sage. <laughs> Sage is not a very patient guy. Statue. The village elder in name only, for he is neither. <laughs> Here's our checkpoints. I'm just going to show you these screens. I know for a fact that you can't go through these yet. Um, these gates that you see up there, uh, you'll they're, they're kind of portals. Uh, we'll be activating them later. And here we go. This is the lot. Hmm. 
So I don't have too much time here. Uh, I'm gonna try and go through this as quickly as possible. I don't know why I always go left first. I've already played through this part like three times and I keep going left first. I know I have to go right. Just FYI, I'm a loot whore. I pick up stuff even though I don't really need it like that. That's special health. Those little red squares is represent your health to pick up. Um, I don't know if you guys notice at the top, it's kind of doing the classic, you know, uh, location indicator. It kind of shows you like a little mini map up there. It's very simple, you know, like this is the room you're in. Um, it's kind of really helpful for orientation. This key may be used in a single time to open up a locked berry. I'm going to use it for this one over here. <laughs> now this is scripted. There's a guy that just follows you and the music cuts out. When I first did this one, it, uh, it really creeped me out and it still does. When you touch him though, he vanishes. So he doesn't hurt you. Your broom is now full of dust. Attack again to place it. Of course, I didn't get why you need to do this, but it quickly becomes apparent why. You use these to uh, block uh, projectiles um, and the like. You know, it's very useful. We're using it in our first dungeon. But first, I'm going to try and pick up something over here. Oh, wait, cutscene. Heads up! Damn, she can't do it. I think it's a girl. Anyway. Sorry about that. I was going way too fast. That bitch. Oh, I've never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? Huh? You want to protect the briar from the evil darkness. Well, I have no clue what you're talking about, but it sounds cool, I guess. I've just been out and about, peddling my wares. What? No, I'm not a salesman. Wares is the name of my bicycle. Wares. I would have thought it would have been called a piece of shit, considering how much you probably crash that thing. Well, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. I'll let you know if I hear anything about that briar. So going this way, you go left, you, um... You won't be able to go forward through that gate. And you're going to need something um, before you get up there. I'll bet you're reading a rock because you don't have any friends. Well, I have more friends than you do, fucker. It's the best comeback I can come up with. No, you! It's almost one in the morning. That's about as clever as I can get. So, throughout the game, you pick up these things called cards, and, you know, later they'll tell you that it's necessary. Um, reading it. It says, I don't mind being watched by the trees. And I know, but you guys will see what the hell he's talking about. So now that I got what I was looking for, I'm going to head back up. Go over to the right. This little bastard. You don't want to watch out for these bats. These bats are really annoying. They're pretty easy to kill in one hit, but they circle around you. And it's really kind of scary when you have three of them all doing that at the same time. So just, you know, if you just time your hits, uh, you should be able to kill them pretty quick. Soon your skills will be put to the test, young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you will need both strength and intellect. And I assume that by this point you have found a weapon? Uh, what? I, I mean, yes, of course. A broom. Or 
Just as was foretold in the legend? Volume and confident. Hey! What are you still standing here for? Keep your wits about you, young. And that's it. I've seen a broom in a legend. It was on the map of a janitor closet. Yeah, the statue's coming next one. So, I mean, as you guys can see, this is just typical dungeon crawling, you know, action hack slash fair. Edward. This is the guy that we saw on the card. Once a man came and installed a mirror in our bathroom. I was afraid that there was a hidden camera inside of it. I scoured every inch of the wooden frame, spraying Murphy's oil soap into the cracks, thinking I might short circuit the wires. Of course, I never found anything. This temple is dedicated to the Seeing One. I don't know why I came here and I'm too afraid to go inside. We didn't see anything else after that, I can tell you that for certain. Um, yeah, going this way, you know, it's, it's just a dead end. So there's no way you can go. However, this right here is, the is a, I guess it's like a, it activates the portal. If you hit confirm, it takes you back to the beginning. And then you just hit confirm again and you can jump through the portal and land right back where you were. Kind of so, uh, I think I'm going to stop this here. I believe my time limit for these videos are about 10 minutes. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys want to uh, see the first dungeon, be sure to check my next video. Anadine, uh, who is the beginning of the game? Yep, I had to double check. Anadine. Uh, currently, it's on sale on Steam if you guys want to grab it now, but. Um, you know, it's it's really good. If you love 16-bit games, I mean, just you have got to get this. And if you do get it, my re big recommendation is to play this as uh, with the joypad. It's just it would not feel right with the keyboard at all. I mean, you could. It, the, the controls are very simple, um, but it's just just do it with the joypad. Anyway, my name is Elise Montoya, and until next time, thanks for watching.